please do watch this video in full screen mode this video will try to understand the effects of uh, solar eclipse coming up in uh, coming up on 14 december 2020 or explained now let me check uh, when this uh, the total solar eclipse is really occurring so this total solar eclipse right this website is timeanddate.com so it is actually visible from chile and some parts of argentina in the afternoon some regions in southern south america southwest africa and antarctica we will see a partial solar eclipse if the weather permits let's find see even though the solar eclipse is visible in chile and argentina and some parts of south america uh, effects of uh, solar eclipse would be global but you can you can say if you if you want to give more points to chile and argentina and some parts of south america yes you can give because in those areas it is visible right it's visible so it would get more affected but the effects are generally global now the maximum eclipse right you can say it's on 14 december 4:13 utc time let me take uh, chile uh for what is the time it's uh, 14 december 4:13 so 4:13 at hyderabad i am just making a chili some part of chili san diego right so now you can understand directly the most important thing here is during this eclipse jupiter is debilitated so that is jupiter represents expansion prosperity growth population growth also uh, finance jupiter means finance that is the first thing expansion growth right all this the, the positiveness the rewards recognition happiness of the people everything right jupiter is that prosperity in one sentence jupiter is finance and prosperity so that jupiter is debilitated during this eclipse so the effects of eclipse would be seen uh, for the next three to six months when it occurred and it is going to occur on 14 december so the effects would be seen uh, the next three to six months of as 14 december now jupiter debilitated so finance debilitated so as expected it's covid time businesses are down so there is some there is a crisis definitely so the governments and financial institutions should come up with different plans new ideas innovative ideas for money flow to happen in different dimensions in different uh, areas right they should come up with different plans so that the money flow would be more and people uh, will enjoy those money flow benefits so that is the that is the duty of this governments or a global uh, financial institutions or banks whatever you say right that is their responsibility and uh, let's say that responsibility in the sense even as people we can also give some ideas to uh, money flow happen in you know different directions or different dimensions that is fine now i also want to concentrate on this uh, you know the scorpio house see in scorpio you can uh, clearly see uh, let me uh, it's some time some 39 or uh, okay some 10 5 am or whatever see moon's transition is very fast because it's a fastly moving planet so i can observe uh, 
you know moon ketu venus sun mercury all of them are in this particular scorpio let me leave uh, moon for some time some 4 13 pm or whatever time you take so venus sun ketu and mercury all of them are in scorpio scorpio is nothing but a hidden house it's a hidden energy and the lord of this one this house is mars so mars is here in pisces he is clearly confused there right mars is a military general pisces is dharma religion and prosperity related stuff so the military general flowing in that uh, prosperity the dharma religion all this stuff is a bit confused right so this confused mars is the lord of the scorpio house so ketu is here what is the own house of ketu own house of ketu is pisces and scorpio is its exalted exaltation house right and uh, you can also say ketu is the worst mars right if you see, if you just take the extreme point of mars then that is ketu actually the extreme anger the extreme war or extreme uh, mars is actually the extreme uh, capabilities of mars can be represented by ketu ketu is a sudden you know sudden events ketu represents a sudden events a sudden uh, breakouts and sudden diseases sudden natural calamities that is ketu so this guy mars leaving his own house scorpio living in ketu's house pisces and ketu leaving his own house pisces is actually situated in mars's mars own house right what is mars own house scorpio so they just interchanged their houses if you observe mars is in uh, pisces and ketu is in scorpio right but mars own house is scorpio and ketu's own house is pisces they just interchanged their houses that is a nice observation here right now what is this house scorpio it's it's a representation of hidden energies and ketu is coming here right ketu is coming here so is going to burst out all the hidden energies that are if there are any hidden secrets by a country if a country is hiding some secrets that are going to be exposed right because during this eclipse this is happening is see and mercury sun and venus all of them are also coming here right so even sun is uh, sun is also in its friend how friend's house so he is also going to help here right he is also going to help and what about uh, mercury mercury is in enemy's house so he is not comfortable but at least right he is in jesta so jesta is not a very good nakshatra but still uh, leave about uh, mercury what about uh, venus venus is helping us venus is neutral anyway so he is not disturbing at least he is just coming there and helping so i am expecting there is a breakout of hidden energies in the sense <clears throat> if there are any hidden secrets by some countries they are going to come out suddenly it's not like they are going to come out gradually it's not like they are going to come out slowly no they are going to come out very much suddenly because ketu is exalted in scorpio and even sun is coming here to help right and venus is also giving some helping hand but mercury is a bit confused but he is also there right so definitely a hidden secrets of some countries right they are going to be exposed for sure and right so predictions 
from this uh, solar eclipse, I am giving two predictions. A 14 December 2020 solar eclipse predictions. One is global financial crisis because Jupiter is debilitated during the eclipse and right. So the correction is financial institutions, governments and banks should come up with new policies and new innovative ideas to help people right. That's the correction. And the second one is if there are any hidden agendas, if there are any hidden secrets from countries all over the world, please, please try to discuss with your allies. Please try to discuss with all the countries. Please be friends with the countries. Please discuss deliberately and then come to a conclusion. If you still hide secrets, then they are going to be exposed suddenly, suddenly, right, without any doubt. And it is going to happen uh, the next three to six months of this uh, 14 December. From this 14 December, just from that time, three to six months, just take that margin. So three to six months in the sense, June 2021, till that time, all right, this, these effects are going to be seen. And another one I want to say is Saturn is in Capricorn and he is very stable. So the lower masses are very much stable or becoming very much stable. The lower GDP people means they are actually going to win Jupiter. Means they are actually going to win ministers or uh, even the knowledgeable classes or whatever the classes that are giving suggestions to the rulers are going to win. Saturn is going to win. That means ministers and the local, uh, you know, local politicians, please don't mess with your people. Take care of them. Otherwise, you're going to lose, definitely. And also, if you continue this kind of behavior with lower masses, if you try to disturb or if you try to torture the lower GDP people, if this continues, then I'm saying definitely there is a leader, a future leader, a big politician is going to come from the lower GDP people because Saturn is very much stronger there. Saturn represents the lower masses, lower GDP people, right? So suddenly you can expect, uh, suddenly, not suddenly, Saturn doesn't do anything suddenly. Gradually, with some commitment, with stability, with slowness, with discipline, right? You will see a leader coming up from lower masses. So, if you don't want, let us say governments don't want this to happen, then what they have to do? They have to respect the lower masses. They have to give value to the opinions of lower GDP people they have to understand what kind of problems a lower GDP people are experiencing now. They, the governments have to speak to the lower GDP people and come up with some solutions. So there are a lot of work for governments here, right? A lot of work uh, governments have to do uh, financial crisis, uh, financial to, to avoid financial crisis they have to come up with some solutions and also they have to speak to the lower masses to satisfy them and also to you know uh, make them happy to right uh, they have to make some new policies they have to uh, you know make the lower masses happy they have to take the comfort levels of lower masses into consideration right this, uh, this one thing and also this particular hidden agendas. If you have a, any hidden agendas, please, please try to discuss with the with your administration classes and also the other countries. Uh, make some decisions, right? So that is the best thing that every everyone can do now, right? So these are the actual... Uh, 
expectations so even though these things are going to happen in means this kind of eclipse is visible in some countries but the effects are global always the effects are global right so that is these are the predictions of uh, 14 december uh, 2020 solar eclipse right so these are my predictions thank you